And like when you're taking attendance of classes by watching recording, does that tell you that I've watched it? No. Or, okay. No. We'll watch that. Yeah, I can see that you're registered, okay. but it won't let me know if you watch it recorded. I don't. Think Only do it for the ones you absolutely can't show up for. Right. Like that's I don't so just those two days. Zoom recording. <laughs> Let me get to my chat here. All right. Close that. All right, so the purpose of this class is only 201. We'll wait for a few more people because I think there was eight people signed up is you the agents asked for it and i'm glad you did because i always can work with agents and show them things but i don't know what they're missing what's not connecting so um i'm going to start out with one question because nicole brought this up a few minutes ago and then we'll just start going down from there nicole asked how to get to the recorded classes does everybody know how to get to the recorded classes so most of our, even these classes, your team meetings, all the different things are recorded. So I'm going to do my best. I don't have a second screen here. I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to take you to the recorded classes. So the recorded classes are on YouTube. So Keller Williams, Lake Norman Cornelius has a YouTube channel. In here, which I'm in right now, if, uh, when you come in first, you only see like a handful if you click on videos, you can see all the recorded classes here and they're named. So if you know you missed a class, you can come in here, grab it and watch it. So here's like the agent on duty classes, Zach did. New agent orientation. Rob did a new agent orientation. And there's a couple of them because each time they do it, we record them. PB meetings, PB meetings are really good to go to because everybody asks how, what, why, and Rob tells them, right? This is a good educational tool. Priscilla, were you aware that this was here? Take yourself off mute. <laughs> it's only three of us for you to know, so, or four. Yeah. Good. So have you used this at all, Priscilla? A couple times, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is it on the TV Connect, right? Oh, um, no. So is this Alicia? Yeah. Okay. Well, so it's on things. YouTube, YouTube directly. Mm -hmm. So can you see my screen? No, we're seeing no. you. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, thank you for telling me. How do I change that? Oh, Susie's here too now. All right. Yeah. Let me figure this out because I'm not on my own system here. So you might see something that says share content or share screen. Um, I'm looking, I'm looking. Let's see. Does anybody see anything different? Oh. Here, here we go. Share screen. This one here. Now, can you share my screen? I mean, see yeah. my screen? Now, thanks. Perfect, perfect. So, yeah, you go to YouTube and then it's the Keller Williams YouTube. So, uh, you go and subscribe to it. So, I um, subscribe to a lot of channels here, but it's KW Lake Norman Cornelius. And this is where you find all the, the channels and stuff. Hello. All the recorded videos. Norm. Everybody's able to write that information down and see it. So yeah, I learned today um, with talking with CC that if you click on there, you can come down here and add public contents, comments, and stuff here too. So. When you're looking at it, whoops. There we go. So when you click on it, the video starts right away, but underneath it, people can have content 
uh, comments back and forth. Now, while we're in the YouTube, I'm going to open up the channels that I subscribe to. Um, I'm gonna name them off, the ones I think you guys should subscribe to. Definitely Scott Leroy Marketing. Big fan. <laughs> Scott is our uh, silent partner, we'll say. This. Um, Scott has many videos in here as well. He is probably, has a video on anything. And while I'm on that, if you need support from him, and I'm not around, Amber's not around, and where do you go, you can email him. And you email him at support at scottleroymarketing.com. And I'm going to tell you, when you email, you could get as detailed about the subject as you can with him, and you're gonna get an email back, well, what about this? So to save yourself time, there's a program called Loom, L-O-O-M. And what Loom does, can you guys see my Scott Leroy screen? Yeah, yes. Okay, I wanna make sure. I'm just gonna click on my Loom that I downloaded, and I have Loom for Chrome here, and I can sign in um, to Loom with my account. Uh, I had the wrong account here. All right, let me. And when I sign up with it, I hit start recording. It records just like if I was talking right now, it could record and I can say, hey, Scott, I'm in command here into contacts. And every time I click on this, this message comes across here. Or I go in through here and I'm doing this. And when I come to this, this is what happens. So he's seeing it in real time, like if he was standing over your shoulder. That way he can experience what you're experiencing. With emails going back and forth, it's gonna be five, six, seven emails before you figure it out. And his last email is like, give me your login, I'll go in and check it out. So if you're comfortable with it, um, most of us are comfortable with it. We give him his, our login, because what are they gonna do with our login to command? And they go in and look at it and see if there's an issue. And if there is, they'll go in and fix it. Um, if you're not comfortable with giving them your login, change your password and then just rechange it back once he's done with it. And you can do that. Any questions on Loom and Scott Leroy? How do you spell Loom? L-O-O-M. So here, let me just, can you see my screen with my Loom up? My personal library? Yeah, once you record. How yeah. You okay. So, perfect. I love this <laughs> because it's just like, all right. So, these are the, this is my personal library. This is free. I record a lot. And I'm going to click on one that yesterday was a day where everybody was having issues. So, I'm going to click on this one right here. This is one of the agents was having an issue with designs postcard mailings. Hey, Scott Leroy Marketing. Did so this is what I did. Marketing Market Center, Wednesday, for the day that I'm reading at the door. Um, they just love me. So, uh, they save their issues. I don't know why. So listen, Bruce Young um, and Marlo, his assistant, came to me today. They created this right here in designs, a, a postcard. You can see the picture is there, the information's there. They've done it from two computers and now I've just done it from my computer. And the picture is there for page one. And then it is there for page two. All right, so while it's there, we've tried a few different ways. We've downloaded it uh, with a PDF. So you get the gist uh, of how I explain it to it him. And I'm showing him the whole thing. We're going to come here and use manual and start the download. Okay, so I'm not going to put you all through that. I'm going to just scoot out of there. So I did that for you with that particular one. It doesn't ask. So I did that video for, for them. So when I go here to the video, when I first go in, right before it starts going, there's a copy link here. I just click on that, copy the link. Um, or you can here download it to your computer if you want. And then I come into my email. Let's 
so I have two screens downstairs. Well. <laughs> and I compose the email. I come right here and I paste it right here and the video is there. And then I just do support at Scott Laurie Marketing. I tell them briefly, a little bit, I don't go into detail. I said, please watch my explicit video. And they see it and then I send it. Now I do ask if you've called me and you said there's a problem and I tell you to do a Loom video, when you send it to him, just throw me in as a carbon copy because then I get educated and know if there's somebody else has that issue, I can let them know what's going on. Is there any questions on that? Susie or anybody? No, it seems like it's clear for now before we start doing anything. Perfect, okay. All right, so that's Loom. Let's go back to here, the YouTube videos. Um, so Scott Leroy, Jay Cermak is a great person as well. Um, he maybe is a little bit more uh, advanced, where Scott gives basics. He's more detailed into as you're getting further into command. Uh, Marty Miller. Marty Miller has been our pal through the whole thing. Marty Miller started with Command 101 or Command 1.0, did 2.0, 3.0, and he's up to 4.0. And why the different ones is because Command is, think of it as a, a baby and it's growing. And as it grows, our use of it changes and the way we use the program changes. So he has a 66 day challenge. And if you haven't done it, I would go and try to do that. Um, it's on where your you, Go ahead. Where are you seeing all of these different subscriptions? I went up here and I Googled them and then I subscribed to them. So these are my personal ones that I've went out and found and subscribed to them. So once you subscribe, the, this is my subscriptions. Okay. Who is the one that you said that was more advanced in command? Jay Cermak. Jay Cermak. Hunter Gore. Hunter is very good too. Um, and these are also, I'm uh, go to the regional meetings. These are other tech trainers and other market centers too that do these. Remember when you first go in though, it just brings up a handful of them. So you have to click here on video to bring up all of them. And you can just look down through as well as you can go to YouTube and just Google command and you know different people come up. I am like an instant gratification type person. I my sister owns a quilt shop and she loves quilting. If I can't get it done in 15 minutes, I'm out of there, you know? <laughs> so some of these folks are 10, 15 minutes long. They get to the point and they're done. Others go into full detail. I love Lori Ballen, but most of hers are so if you like detailed full detail oriented i just want to get the job done uh go into lori she's like an hour hour and 15 minutes right but they all have and and go into youtube and, and go into command keller williams see what pops up so all, all many other people pop up this this guy here does a lot he's more advanced too tristan Has anybody watched any videos besides Marty Miller? You can give me some suggestions. John is good too. Here's John's. And they're not only on command when they do these, right? It's not only on command. It's about how to do a smart plan and follow up with your leads, how to put them as an opportunity in your database, even though they didn't sign buyer agency or or a listing agency, you can put them in there instead of just leaving them in your contacts. If they're hot and they're going to buy in three to six months, if you put them in your contacts, you might forget them unless you do a smart plan or something to remind you, right? Because you're going to get busy and you're going to forget. So put them in opportunity if they're going to buy. And then that way they're in front of you a lot more often too. Any questions? Okay. So we did the Google Drive, we did Loom. What other questions do you have 
anything outstanding yet you want to learn or you want to just uh, go into some things? I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, outside of YouTube. Okay. So I was setting up a smart plan mm -hmm. and I sent out a test to my husband and it went to his junk status. So I guess I didn't realize they're coming from a different email address. Correct. So, and there's nothing, there's no way to, other than to maybe put in your subject line, give it, you know, some point of reference that it's me. Yeah. So, um, what Pam is asking is she set up in command a smart plan. And in the smart plan, it had an email in it. And when the email went to her test, because we should all put ourselves into our command and test everything ourselves, send it to ourselves first before sending it out. Um, it went to her husband's junk mail. And that is true. It does not come from your own command or KW email address. I'm going to try to find one and I can show you what it comes from. It's always the same email address, but it's not your command one. So let me see if I can find one. Here we go. Nope, that's not it. Has anybody else experienced that, that they set themselves up on a, a smart plan? or and it didn't come directly from them all right let's go back into here all right so here's one right here there's a test one that i did to myself if i hover over my name you see it comes from agent 450842 at mailer.kw.com. So yours is going to come from agent, whatever your number is. It's always coming from that same one, but yeah, it can go into spam. All right, so this is um, a smart plan that I just set up for myself and I sent it out to some agents with the new email templates for that we can do because with the new email templates while I have this open you can you have text boxes that you can type it in you can bring in photos you can bring in the listing information uh, you can bring in videos it's a new template that came out a couple weeks ago and if you're interested just write it down on your list and we can have a class on that all right Any other questions about that? All right. So does everybody know what mykw.kw.com is? Has anybody seen this page before? Yep. Have anybody used this page before? No. Yes. Okay. So, so before command and, and connect, this is the way we got around to all the other programs. So in here, this is your agent profile. This is where you were, Nicole, earlier when you said your head was getting chopped off. It was in your profile. Okay. Now in here, I always tell everybody to go to your profile, click on that, and this is what they call the white pages. Go down here and just make sure that your information is correct in here. You can change any of these white boxes, but you cannot change these gray boxes. If you need something changed in here, like your license number could possibly say one, two, three, four, five, because you're brand new and they want to get you going in the system. So we trick the system to get you guys onboarded quickly. And then once your license comes in, then your license is put there. If it says that your MCA CC can change this for you. She can go in and change it. She has the authority to do that. So just go down here and look and make sure that everything is correct in here. All right. Is there any questions on this portion of the white pages? Okay, coming back to mykw.kw.com, some, uh, you can come in here and look under reports here, next to the profile under reports. Um, I worked with this in 2016 and 17. 
Um, with the agent I worked with, I won't have any reports, but you can come in here and look at these different reports for your agent or for yourself. Um, also, um, you can get to, on the top line, you can get to technology here and come into your command. If you need to come here, if you're in here and you don't want to sign out and sign back in, you just click on command. Um, this KWLS, does anybody know what that is? This is a really listings. important part of our business. It has the this, Keller William listings? Yes. Thank you. So um, what um, this is, is it like syndicates from MLS and then within command and other programs that we use, um, we pull in for our digital marketing, our flyers, the information. Sometimes agents say to me, Susan, I can't find it. Or I, my, my lister called me and it was on Zillow for, for the first month, but now it's gone off of Zillow. I know our market is great that properties are flying off the shelf. So they're probably not getting those questions, but when we see a change in the market and properties are remaining on the market longer, you're going to see have those things where they say, I can't find it on there or the price is outdated on there. Where did it go? I'm going to show you on this KWLS and open it up. I don't have any listings. I did a video on it and I can, um, I shared the video to our Mooresville um, and Cornelius and University pages. You can go in here. Let me just see if I can go into another agent's thing because this is important. I need to show you this. Let me log out of here myself. Um, does it? So I'm going to log out and hope I can get into my friend Glennis's website. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, so again, I go to technology and I come to KWLS. I'm bringing up her listing. So she has a total of 23 properties that um, she's worked with in, in this year. Okay. If I go and click on all, it brings up all the properties that have syndicated over from MLS. You can see here, some are active, some are pending, some are expired. If this listing right here shouldn't be expired, we have to go in and trick it. When it comes over from MLS, somewhere the transmittal from that information to KWLS, it only comes over active for a couple of weeks. And that's why it can't be seen on Zillow after a month. You have to physically go into your listings and update that. And many people do not know about this. I found this out in 2016 when we kept getting those phone calls. We're not there. It's been happening and I don't know um, why it hasn't been fixed or if it can be fixed coming from the MLS platform. So coming back to the dashboard here, how do you fix it? Come back to the dashboard, see this list hub? When it's checked, nothing can be changed on it. You have to uncheck it because it's syndicating out to other sites. When you uncheck it, it then gives us the ability to come into our listings and say if this listing wasn't expired, I could come in here, view the whole listing and come down and hit uh, edit. Then I can come in here and change the date right here. Now, sometimes you take a land listing because they're on the market in some places for a long time. You may take it for a year, your exclusive rights to list. It won't let you go out there. I think the most you can go out is six months. So you're gonna have to put a reminder in some place to go in and check it. What I did for my team lead is every Monday, I had it come up on my calendar to go in and just view it because we didn't want those calls from buyers and sellers or you know, if things were active, not active, what happened to my listing? So we would come in here and change it. Once you change it, you come down to the bottom and hit save down here at the bottom. You can change, sometimes the price doesn't automatically come over quick. You can come in here and, and edit the price as well, right here. So I was 
pretend I changed it, I hit saved. I come back to this page. My next thing, once I fiddle with things, I'm going to go back to the dashboard to the list hub and go back and check that box. If I don't check it, nothing's getting syndicated out to other sites. So I come back to the dish dashboard here and I have to put this check mark here in list hub. So now it's gonna start getting syndicated out again. Now I know that was a lot. Is there any questions on that at all? Did anybody know about that? So Sue, it only shows you your listings, correct? Correct, yep. So when I logged onto mine before, mm -hmm. I don't have any listings, so it didn't show any. So this is Glennis, um, an agent in the Mooresville office always lets me use her site. Um, she has these listings and uh, you can only see Glennis's listings there. Yeah, that Yeah, so it will not show up here until once you activate it in MLS yeah. and MLS syndicates it over. So within a day or 24, 48 hours, it'll come over. Yes, we should. And we'll go we through different things. Through and make sure that everything is. Absolutely. Okay. Be willing to do that. Um, is there any other questions about that? Okay, so I'm going to click out of that. Um, so this is just an informational page too. You can access your reports here um, and explore other things. You can come into marketing. This was when we had eEdge in the older program and this is how we did our stuff then. It didn't go away. We can still get to many of these avenues through command. Okay. All right, so KW Connect. Has anybody been into KW Connect? Yes. Yes. What did you find in KW Connect? I mean, it's unlimited resources. Right, right. Yeah, like it's kind of overwhelming, overwhelming resources, resources, but you can go in here and get whatever you want. Mm -hmm. So please do note, since I logged into Glennis's account for that other program, it's recognizing me through all their platforms now. So I am going to log out because I don't want to get into all her other stuff and log me back in. So I'm in mine. So in this connect here, you have your calendar, your market center calendar, right? Um, mine's going to look different. It's a different market center. But in ours here, we have all the classes that are coming up. Can I, I'm gonna, can I ask? Mm -hmm. um, so back at that, uh, the, where we were just a moment ago, the, the uh, like mykw.kw.com? Yeah, yeah. That's the intranet. So we go into the intranet to schedule front desk duty. Oh, so no. that's out of my wheelhouse, how okay. it's done here. But that's the intranet? So, yes. Right? Okay. And I would probably talk to Amber about that and ask Amber. Did, um, Susie, are you on there? Susie, are you here? Yes, I am. Is, how do, is, do can we, you hear Pam? Yeah, I can. Okay. Do we schedule desk duty through? Um, yeah. Priscilla told me to go through the intranet in passing, and, I, and I've not been able to find. Yeah. Where, where, where do you schedule desk duty? Sue, can you hit uh, intranet, the intranet, the, my market center intranet? Right here. See right here, this little bit, bitty uh, thing? Thank you. So hit that. And then when you hit that, I always got to think there's um, a couple other things you got to hit. Oh. oh. Well, oh, it's not coming up for you. So. Here, this? Uh, yeah. Can you, I'm on my phone. Uh, okay. So what I'm looking at is I have the calendar on the right hand side. This is where you post your open houses and stuff. I know that to your market center. Can you click associates? Uh, no, up at the top. Um, right here. Yeah. I think maybe that. No, uh, I think you hit market center. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, market center. Okay. Market and center. And then the calendar. calendar. 
go to resources, I think maybe, or the calendar, or the calendar. Oh, agent on duty call room. Thank you. Perfect. Desk. Thank desk. You. So Thank mine's you. a little different. Mine's desk, phone duty, calendar, because it's a different market center. Yeah. Okay. So you're good with that? Guys, thanks. This is great Thank that we're so sharing much. and stuff. And then you would just go in there and, and put when you're available to do it. So, mm -hmm. Let me see if mine looks. I think something. the problem is we have to shadow before we can do phone duty. and. Yeah, you have to qualify to and complete a checklist but so Pam says you do have to qualify yeah. and complete a checklist before you can get on to the phone duty okay so so I'm back over to KW connect and this is your calendar from here, we have training, in-person training, Connect Live training, KWU training. So Connect Live training, if you click on that. This is all the training that's currently going on now. It's already scheduled. You can click on here uh, when the training time is, go in and you'll be part of that training class. All right. If you see something on here, because we have not one, but 21 different trainings going on at one time throughout everything. And you wanted to catch this, but there was something else you wanted to catch. You come over here to connect live on demand, click on that. And it brings up all the different trainings that were already done. They're all recorded. So this is not our, just our offices. This is not really our offices. This is the regions chaining it and Keller Williams. Our office was on the, um, where? Where was our office training? The, the oh. recordings. YouTube. Oh, oh, yes, oh, YouTube. Oh. That's okay. All right, so resources here. Again, there's a way to get your calendar from there. Welcome new associates. I don't know if anybody's been in there. Has anybody been into the welcome new associates and any tips here that would help anybody or is this basic? <clears throat> no. So you can come in here and just go, go through here. These are hyperlinks that you can go tech enabled agent, which you can also get under technology. When you go into the tech enabled agent, it welcomes you and asks what you're looking for today. You can click get train and then you come down here and you start doing training. Whatever avenue I think you go down, you'll find training of some sort. Um, does anybody use referrals through KW Connect or you use it directly through command? What would referrals be? Like if you're sending, good question, thank you. If you're looking to send, if you have a family member or friend that says I wanna move to the Jersey Shore Oh, okay. Who here in Mooresville would want to refer them. So then you get some mailbox money coming in another month, as they call it, mailbox money. You get a referral fee. So you could come in here and, and find an agent through here. Or you do it through command or um, on your app on your phone. Has anybody referred an agent in or out yet? I know we're all kind of uh, maybe still under a year yet being licensed yeah i've done i've done a referral but i was wondering how on there though do you do you connect with other keller williams agents to do to be a referral partner all right i believe it's right here grow my network and then in here you can come in and decide and filter what type of agent you want. You want to get somebody that's maybe doing more of the business, has been in the business a long time, maybe is in math coaching, maybe has a team. So you can come in here and filter out um, the different types. I have to say, I haven't been in here to, to refer anybody out this way, but certainly we, you know, if somebody wants to go down that rabbit hole, we'll go down it and look at it. I think I would go in there and just start po poking around. Like say it, that they attended the mega camp. Um, I can 
can show you. Like what if you have their name and you just want to be able to connect with them? So um, I'm going to just log into command because that's what I know best. And uh, come over here to my referrals here in command. Um, and I would come in here and look at my network and search. I'm not going to be in there. So that was like a bad thing. Here, let me just. So see, I put Cheryl Glover in there. This is an agent I worked in New York and moved to Claremont, Florida, probably about 15 years ago. She's a Keller Williams agent. Put her name in there. She showed up here. She's not in my network. So I might want to click here on my network, send her a personal message. Hey, wanted to add you in my network. That's your husband. And then I would send an invitation. Oh, cool. Thanks. Okay. So it says your invitation to Cheryl was successfully sent. Send a referral to the form to this person. So I don't have a referral to send to her, but once she accepts my network here, if I wanted to send a referral, I would come here and then come through here and fill it all out. They tell me it's really easy. A lot of times people get phone calls, or, hey, you know, I'm looking to move here or here. You just qualify them a bit by talking with them on the phone as their wants and needs and stuff and you can just put them out to a referral and that's why I guess they got the term mailbox money. Money just magically appears in your mailbox. Now um, I'm going to come over here to Matt. Matt, where's Matt? So I haven't been in here in a while but I wanted to just show you market centers. This is all the market centers across the country. Then I'm going to zoom into the market centers. I think. Okay. All right, so I'm froze. All right, so I'm a little bit froze here. It's awful hot in the room too. All right, so I put 28117 in here. And hit enter. It brings me into that area. There's, I'm not zoomed in enough. In this area here, there's eight market centers within the Charlotte area. So I'm going to zoom in and come up to Mooresville. Now, when I'm in the Mooresville one, if I want to see where people are, or any of the market centers here, where people are moving in from or out from Mooresville, I come up here, referral patterns. Click on referral patterns. And it's going to show me the different market centers here and where people are moving in, into and out of. So right now, this is um, this is referrals received. So people moving into our area have come from Rhode Island, Los Angeles, San Diego, New Mexico, into our area. As far as moving out, people moving from here and where they're moving to. It's received. Oh, maybe I had that backwards. This is received. I'm so, no, 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 this is right. This is sent. This is, so here, they're going to, I don't know, people are moving out of Charlotte to other areas. Now, does anybody know what, how this could be important in your business? Try to get so Nicole here in the front row said, <laughs> said you can do Facebook ads to those targeted areas, advertising there for a property here or for a lifestyle here in our area, right? Pretty smart. Me and Peter were talking about that earlier today. Is Peter on here? Yeah. Peter, are you on here? I am. Oh, there you are. Hey. <laughs> so this is a real smart thing to do. Yeah. 
Facebook ads on and then I talk to people about the location. My aunt, she is a Tampa Keller Williams agent. That's how she sold one of her really expensive homes. So she put an ad for New York trying to get New Yorkers that are wanting to move to Tampa. Don't talk bad about the New Yorkers on land. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I was smart enough to get out before they were going to shut off the lights in New York City. <laughs> um, it, it's really sad, though. My parents and my family still lives in upstate New York, which is like 90 minutes north of the GWB, and they're ecstatic about their property values going up and people are buying. How to, I'm like, yes, but where are the people moving from? And that's fine, but then your people are moving out. So it's a chain reaction. Um, the market values there have really skyrocketed, really skyrocketed. And when the buyers are coming up, they're coming up with a lot of cash. They're bidding $30,000, dollars $50,000 over the asking price to win it. And they don't care about appraisal values because they're paying in cash. So. And so if I, if I heard you right, this is just based on referrals within KW, right? Correct. Not, not, not MLS or anything like that, okay. That's correct. And these are the market centers here okay. on the right-hand side. So um, received uh, Mooresville to Charlotte. You can see where here's Cornelius, Austin, Texas. Okay, well, where they came from, what area and what market center got them. Are you aware, maybe within Canopy, I know they have some reports and I haven't explored them yet, but do you know if they have any reports that actually narrows it down to, like, let's say if you're looking at New York, you know, what area of New York, a zip code, a county or something that's moving from one place to the other, do they track that? So I am not aware of that, but I'm sure it's out there. It's out there, okay. Um, and one other thing to think about while statistics, um, if you're going up um, on a listing appointment, if you use, and I'm sure you're, use it showing time has anybody used showing time i don't have an account for showing time but i'll bring it up on the screen so you can see what it's look uh, i think it's showingtime.com oh no that's showtime <laughs> right. it's funny though when i do call them sometimes i call them for an agent and they're like, hey, Sue, what are you doing? How's it going in Pine Bush, New York? I'm like, oh, I haven't been there in four years. They still have me in there. But uh, I don't know if it'll let me log in. So this is showing time. This is where you set up all your appointments for properties to see. This is also where you need to go into when you have a listing to put how your lister wants the property seen. And if this is a class that you want to do and work on something, if somebody at one time was allowed to sign into their account, we could do it so other agents can see how to do it. But you want to go in here, or you don't have to go in here to set up your permissions and stuff. You can call them and they will do it there. You know, I know like um, with new listings, people would do a, um, um, what would they do? They would do a listing. But the, the homeowner would say, I don't want showings for two days. And then I want to open house after that day. So that what that's called is um, the homeowner will ask to have the showings blocked for these two days while they're finishing, preparing, getting their house. And they don't want it, they don't have it ready for the market yet, but they're going to have it ready on X day for an open house. So you go in there and you tell them, you can go in and set your parameters to block showings for this period of time and then open it up at say, 12 o'clock or one o'clock on the, the showing day. So um, they can do it. Like your first couple times I did that because it's a little tricky. I always call them up and said, I just did this. Can you just check to see if I did it right? Because you wouldn't want to open it up for showings when it shouldn't have been opened up for showings. So showing time is going to be your friend. You should download the app on your phone because that's how you're going to schedule your appointments. Does anybody have any other stories about showing time that you'd like to share? I have one I just want to mention. Sure. When I was uh, showing a house, showing time happened to go down. And so I couldn't get the uh, key or the combo to get in. So if the house has a combination, I suggest writing it down to yeah. take with you beforehand because in case it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. So let me ask you, they, they used to send out 
um, like a confirmation, either a text or an email saying you're confirmed for the showing and it gave you that. I don't know if it still does that. It does. It does. Okay. So that's a good thing to keep in mind too. You know, everything we're doing is cloud-based if we're not, right? And if something happens with our cloud, uh, what do we have? So that was, that was great for sharing that, Priscilla, because we do need to be careful. Um, so, and if it didn't have a combination box and it had the electronic box, how would you have gotten in if showing time was down? Is the box down or is that the separate service? Supra. Okay. Yeah. And while we're on the super key, I know we're jumping around, but these are all like um, basic things. The electronic lockbox, which I wish I had one in my hand right now. If you take your, um, they have a fob that you can use, or you can have your downloaded on your phone. If you take that to the box and point at it, will the box open? No, there's Yeah. So if you go on your phone and go through that box process, will the box open? Well, the key no. now. After doing one thing. Pushing the bottom up. Yeah, push the, oh. the bottom of the box up. And a lot of agents don't know that. And they call the listing agent and say, I can't get in. If your lock box isn't working. So remember that. Practice it before. All you have to do is push the bottom up. Kind of like maybe it jars it. Yeah. But if you don't do it, it's not going to open up. You have to push the bottom. Okay. It might trigger activates it because doesn't it go on infrared or Bluetooth? One of those two it goes on. Yeah. yeah. So um, we used to use a lot of combination lock boxes because we were on the corner of three counties, five miles. Um, we did the real estate uh, within three counties. So there was three MLSs. Three MLSs you had to belong to and pay all that dues to three MLSs or you put the lockbox on so other agents and other counties could get into it with a combination. We would put both of them on there. So, and lockboxes, where do you find lockboxes when you go on a listing? I mean, not when you, when you go to show a listing. Anybody? Yeah, yeah. So, right. I mean, coming from New York, they were always on the doorknob. Coming down here, there's a lockbox here, turn around, it's on the porch behind the plant. Yeah. Um, and I think it's because of the shackle on the lockbox, only the owner of that lockbox with their e key can take it off. Otherwise, you have to, if you sell a house and the listing agent never came back for the lockbox, the homeowner would have to take off their lock, you know, their regular lock, take it off, and then re take off the lock box and put it back on. So I don't know if that's why they do it, but there's a shackle code there. What does uh, somebody else want to look at? How do I get my faces back? I see faces. There's Peter. Peter, I'm sorry, I only have one monitor, so I couldn't see. Wendy Hicks is here. Susie, yay, guys. Tell me. Tell me what you struggled with in the first week of being here. Anybody? <laughs> hey, well, the, sorry, <clears throat> this is Renee. Um, I honestly still haven't ordered my business cards because I needed to do a headshot and I get all these emails about various card vendors and it's all a little overwhelming. Um, I also want to know how to send out, for example, a newsletter to my emailed contacts. That might be a good thing to show us if other people don't know how to do that, I don't know. Okay, so do you have a specific newsletter that you did up in command? No. Okay, so that would be the first step in designs. You would need to go in and design something. And I'm going to tell you that Keller Williams um, through eEdge, the old program had great newsletters, but in the new command, they are not offering uh, newsletters because nobody's reading newsletters is what they're saying. 
they, they're too long, people don't have the time, they're not doing it. But we do have the option within our commands, with our um, designs, to design something and send it. M most people like to see a one page thing, bullet points or something, and read it, some pictures in there, than going through a four page newsletter. Um, I can certainly go into command and show you designs, just dip into there um, because we don't, we only have a few more minutes, but I would certainly do that. So um, there was something else you said also, Renee, that you wanted to know. Oh, business cards. So does anybody, while I'm going into command, does anybody have any suggestions for Renee for business cards of a company or service that you use? If not, I know Amber has a name. Yeah, so that's usually you get your, your name tag and business cards through the agent store. Peter, is that who you use? Yep, that's who I used. Okay, and you can go and, and do it there and, and design it. You just design it right there. They have like yeah. templates and you just put in your information. So I hope that helps you, Renee. Um, and some options don't have, you can do it without a um, And what she's saying is some, there are some options, Renee, without a head shop. So what I would do is go order your minimum, I think maybe 50, um, without a headshot so you have a business card going. Um, okay. All right, so over here in commands on the left-hand side, oh, I always have a habit of clicking the red box because it opens up these applets here. Um, down here, this is designs, and this is where you do all your marketing material. So in designs, you can do emails, landing pages, social posts, your print, agent sites and videos. Everything you see here, there's 239, are all the designs that I did within the, all these platforms up top. If I wanted to see a specific one so I didn't have to sort through all these, I knew it was a print one that I did, I would click on print and it would just bring my 71 printed ones here, just to explain that to you. In yours right now, you may not have any in there. To get to a new design, how you get there is this plus sign here on the bottom right hand corner. Everybody can see my screen, correct? Renee, can you see my screen? Um, yes. Okay. So you click on the plus sign and say if, um, what you're wanting to do um, could be print and we would download it and then email it out through your database. So here's print and then click the next here, bottom right. If I was going to do a specific listing, I can just click here, import photos and text in the listing, and then tell it what listing. I'm gonna hit next. It's gonna bring up all our templates on a workspace to work on. All right, so I'm gonna tell you this right at the beginning because everybody said, how can I get my name in there, my phone number in there? I wanna put this logo in there. I wanted to put these pictures of me in there, or this my team logo I wanna put in there. From this area here, if you came to library first, and remember, I always say commands, um, hooking up your settings as your foundation of your house. Because whatever you put in there comes over here to your designs, your picture, your name, your license number, your market center logo, all comes in. So get that set up first, and then this is a breeze. But click on this library here, and within here, you can update any information here if it has a phone number on there that you don't want on your marketing material, you can put whatever phone number here you want in your marketing material. If you want to change something here, uh, take it off, you can change it right here. It's all interactive that you can go in and change things. Texting isn't really text field. So if you wanted the same thing to be at the bottom of each brochure, fill it in here. Do it here so you don't have to type, do each individual box. Images. So pictures of yourself or different things. You can bring any image in here. How you bring an image in here, we'll just take out, uh, so look at the big hair I have way back when. See that? <laughs> so if I wanted to take out this image here, and I want to bring in a new image from my database, I click on here. It takes me to my database. And I would come into wherever I keep my file uh, pictures, which I can't remember at this point. Here we go. And my marketing material. And in here I have all my pictures. 
So say if I wanted to bring this dorky one in, I click there, and it's in there. Is there any questions on how to bring images in? Okay, logos is another thing. So there's many different logos. Some people have team logos, uh, individual logos, market center logos. There's not only one market center logo. And if you need a, your market center logo, do you guys know where to go for that? You could go, yeah, you could go to Scott Leroy. There's many different places, but your market center stores theirs on their Facebook page. Um, yeah, so let me just go to the market center Facebook page. All right. Here's Blake Norman. Oh, that's wrong. That's me. Uh, tell me if you see Cornelius. No. Here, Cornelius. <clears throat> Within here, <clears throat> I have to just search around a little bit because I forget. Maybe in media? No. It should your files. Oh, thank you. No, I think they keep it under. Let's see. Just gonna keep clicking. Susie, you're right. It's in an area that I'm just not remembering where they keep it. Oh, here, this is it. So under media, come to albums. Click on here, and here's all your logos you could ever need. I'm just downloading from here. That is great. I did not know that. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, so what you would do is download it to your computer and then upload it here. Now, I'm going to tell you when you get a logo, you probably want to. And so this one coming in has a white background. You might want a transparent background. Some of your market material may look terrible with a white blotch and a black mm -hmm. thing, or may look super. So you can go and there's different programs you can go on and do for a transparent background. Okay, branding kit. What branding kit is, is if you have a specific color um, that you want to use on your marketing, and always have that same red or that same black or the same peach. You come to the color wheel here, add a font. Oh, nope, sorry, that's if I had it. I come here to the plus, and here's my color wheel. If I had a color code here, I could put it right in here, or I just come here and start clicking around. And so that's like the blues, and I come here and I'm like, that might be a blue I like, or that. And then I just hit apply, and a new one comes in here. So you don't always have to search. Some people are like really like the same, that's their, I want to say signature, but what is it? They're marketing, they're branding. Yes, thank you. The certain color within a certain logo. So I just wanted to show you there, this library and how you update things there. Okay, so over here is, this is my designs that I have on here and I can play with it. Or this is the, Keller Williams template designs. So in listings, this is all our listing designs in here. So within listings, um, if I went to just listed, there's 36 designs. Now, these are designs that are made that if you're going to go to social media with it, the platform, it's already done out. You'll see Instagram is a different shape. So the template is already done out. So you don't have to worry about that. Door hangers, if you want to do door hangers, that's there. Um, bifolds, 11 by 17, if you wanted to do something up here on a brochure, if you wanted to do a newsletter on this, you can do a newsletter on here. Here is horizontal. Here's letters or um, flyers. Here's postcards. Here's standard postcards. And it seems like my screen might be a little bit, let me it down a little bit. And here's flyers themselves. So if I wanted to work with one of these flyers, I would click here. Actually, I just clicked the wrong thing. On the top right-hand corner, it still came up. In the top right-hand corner, there was something that said use. 
but I guess you don't always have to click there and click the flyer, something learned. Um, and within this flyer here, um, you can take this and make it into a newsletter if you want, just a one page newsletter by coming in here and you can come in and um, add your own photos to it. You could add company photos to it and all these are legal pictures to use. You don't have to worry about copyright on here or if you have photos in your library. That was the library room before. If I wanted to change out this photo here, this pluses it into it, so as an additional picture, this replaces it. So I would replace the photo. So Renee, um, it's probably uh, maybe something we wanna do one-on-one -on -one or we do another one of these next week or something, we get into specific things. And I just wanna mention we're running out of time, but if there's specific things and you wanna get together next week, Email me on the topics and stuff or let Amber know so she can let me know and we can lay out like an agenda. Um, I'm hoping you have found this helpful. Do you guys find this helpful? Yeah, do you, do you have a minute to show how you would take that template that you did and put it and post it in Facebook or is that another day? Well, let me just look at my calendar because I, and I will tell you. So Renee, you're with me at 310, so. Um, 310. So um, if you want me to go and do that, I, I just go around. So let me just quick show you how to do it. You want to put this where, Susie? To post it on Facebook. Okay, so there's two ways to do that. One right here, share. Where? Up here on the right hand. Maybe our, is a picture in the way or something? Can you see this that just dropped yeah. down? There's a share button in the top right hand corner. And then you come here to Facebook and you can type a message here about it and then hit share. Oh, and awesome. It, and it should, you know, come open up to my um, Facebook page. If I didn't want to put a message there, I could put a message here, all right? So that's one way. The other way is right here to download it. And you can download it as a JPEG because that's what Facebook likes pictures. Don't do it as a PDF. When you click here, always, and I don't know why, but they say this creates um, the best download. Use this manual here. Take this to high resolution and start your download. When you download it, you download it to your downloads, to your computer, to a file takes a minute to download. It should get a little message here to download. Okay, it's gonna take it to a file. I'm gonna temporarily do it to my downloads. Download it here. I open it up and there it is there. And I just it. save that, go into my Facebook and then upload it back. Mm -hmm. So I have it saved to my phone. I have it branded to me, but that's the agent, right? And so then when I go to um, share it, share my CW, share the CW app, and if I want to text it to somebody or post it on Facebook, when they receive that, is it branded where, or do they have to select me as their agent? Renee, do you have your uh, app branded yet? Have you used your mobile app? Only asking you because you're at 310 and I don't want to. Sorry, it's... my mobile app for Facebook? Yeah, uh, no, your mobile app for your consumer app for Keller Williams. Yes, I've shared that some by text. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to, if I can do it on this device, um, share my screen, but I want to share my iPad screen and try to, my phone and try to bring mirror image that up and I'll bring the app up on the screen if I can um, just to because there is one new thing out that I posted to the Facebook group um, uh, so I can't do it here all right yeah yeah okay. oh wait it might it might so um, 
You know how uh, you set your people up, Renee, on searches on your app, you know, people set themselves up in searches, they used to get the search, um, how often do they get it, like uh, monthly or weekly? You can have them get it instantaneously now. When a pro property comes on the market, so I won't do it, when a property comes on the market, um, they'll get it right away as an email which is a great new feature. Um, so. I just didn't know, like I posted, I posted my app to Facebook and I just didn't know if when people are open, opening that, if that's like truly my app or is that the generic color William? Uh, yeah, I, so if you go into your, um, your mobile app, yeah. white KW mobile yeah. app, Open it up, yep. go to the bottom right hand corner, yep. hit more. Do you yep. see your name at the top with your initials in a circle? Yep. And underneath it, does it say your agent with you in there? Uh, it just, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's branded to you. So, so, so it's when branded. I send that out, that's how they're seeing it. Right. Okay, that's all we need to know. Right. Okay. I do want to show you guys this Facebook page. It's a group page um, that I put out for the three market centers I work in need to change that picture. But like last night, I did a video and I posted this morning, consumer app has a new feature. And in that, it, that's where you can change it, that they get the updates um, instantaneously, it explains. Oh, okay. When there's issues with certain things and commands. So right now there was an issue with KW Facebook ad um, issues with something with contacts. I posted it here so you knew what it was. Um, here, um, importing into commands, Nicole, and this is what I said, I'm glad you didn't do it yet. When people were bringing contacts into commands um, this past week, they were bringing them in double, which is a mess on your database because you're only gonna have to go through them all. So um, give it another week before we, and we can have Scott Leroy help us out and bring the contacts in there. We just have to get them to a CSV file, but you don't want it to upload and then have double, okay? Um, so I've been posting when there's issues. Reason why there's a lot of issues right now is because with commands, it's not just a program they give us and we have to use it. It is a program that they give us and we tell them how we wanna use it going forward um, with our business. And with people telling it only makes it better for all of us. So right now they are in the back end of commands working on a lot of team permissions, how teams are run and different things. And it has made a couple of these issues that we have here. So, uh, you know, I'm sorry that those issues are there, but it's only making the product bigger, about better. Okay, so at 309, Renee, do you want, um, we'll end this and we'll hop on. Uh, are you in the office or? Um, no, I'm good. I'll just reschedule a time where we oh, have. All right, so I mean, if you have some more questions, Renee, it's your time. It, if you don't mind other people um, getting information off of yours, we can do it right here and stay here. Whatever, it's up, totally up to you. It's your time. I'll log off. Have a good day. Thanks. All Bye. Right. Yeah, Bye -bye. I think I'm good. I just need to practice some of the stuff you covered today, and then I'll just gather some questions for next time. Okay. And remember, I do send out an email. Um, I set everybody up in a smart plan that they get a welcome email from me. And then the next day later, they get Join Command 101. It's a basic module-based program. It's 10 minutes for each thing, goes through contacts and everything like that. Um, goes through some designs too, Renee. And those Facebook, YouTube, or excuse me, YouTube channels are great for learning. So I hope you all had a great experience. Uh, let me know how it can improve and let me know what you want next time. Thank you very much. Thank you all for Thanks. joining. Bye-bye. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank <clears throat> you.